So now we've exported our camera. The next thing we need to do is, because if we export this out into Maya and start bringing it, it's gonna bring the image plane in, but it's still gonna be distorted. You're still gonna have the discrepancy, although it's not a lot in this one, in others it's gonna be a lot. But we need to make sure that we bring out this data as well, and in whatever 3D package you use, you need to understore your footage. So we need to actually export our the hard distortion data. So I'm just going to go File. And there's a lot of options here. I, depend on what you're using, I'll do it through Nuke. So I'll always do Export LD for 3D distortion because that's also pretty much industry standard as well. Everyone uses Nuke. And, um, well, to places like you have... Um, you have the flame, after effects, mesh warp, and all the other stuff, multiple tracks. You've got lots of things. I'm not going to go through it because all I need is that one. And all I need to do is give it a file name. Oh, so I have just made a, a file there. I'm going to call this uh, 3D Demo Distortion. No, I'm not bothered about spelling. We'll just get it done. And we'll click OK. And now that's exported that. And that's pretty much done. So the next thing we need to do is create uh, undistorted footage. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.